Thanks for getting all the swearing out of the way. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to quite get there, but maybe a few. All right, are we good? We're good. All right, so I started drinking beer in Cleveland, Ohio. And, and at the time, thank you, Cleveland, Indians, woo, uh, go Cavs. I don't know if they won tonight. Anyway, uh, so I started drinking beer in Cleveland, Ohio. And at the time, Great Lakes Brewing Company was, I mean, it, it wasn't craft. I mean, we, we didn't have that word craft at the time. So we drank things like Genesee Cream Ale. And I can recall, yeah, uh, so... I can remember uh, when I was 22 years old, my brother, six years younger than me, turned 16. So I bought him a little Bats Blue uh, at TGI Fridays. <laughs> and I thought I was pretty cool, right, buying my, buying my younger brother some beer, whatever. So a few years later, he decided he was going to buy me a beer, and, and it changed my life. Uh, so I was living in Chicago at the time. I was going to law school. And we found ourselves out one night. My brother came to visit, and we probably to see a band or something. And we were out, and we were, you know, three sheets to the wind. And he says to me, <laughs> that's not me, but uh, it probably looks something like that. Uh, so he says to me, uh, hey, I want to buy you a beer tonight to pay back for that one that you bought me when I was 16. And I said, okay, uh, I'm okay with free beer. So on the way back to my place, we stop at this place, Binnie's on Halstead. Uh, Binnie's is a pretty awesome beer and liquor store. Uh, but my experience with Binnie's um, had mostly been just sort of, sort of running in, grabbing the things I need, uh, and leaving. So, you know, most of the time when I'd been there, I'd run in, you know, grab my bottle of Jack Daniels, you know, maybe grabbed a case of like Ice House or something like that. If my, uh, you know, if I felt like impressing my, my girlfriend, uh, you know, maybe a bottle of wine or something sweet like that. Well, so my brother starts walking up and down the aisles and he's picking up a beer and he says, oh, Imperial Stout. No, not that. Barley wine, oh, interesting. This one's from New York. Uh, this one's from Florida. I'm like, who the fuck buys beer like this? Just grab a six pack and let's get out of here. What the hell? So, so he grabs it. So he finally ends up with six beers and he takes all six 12 ounce bottles up to the cashier and the cashier says that'll be $25. <laughs> and I said, I look at him, I'm like, 25 bucks? We could have bought two fucking cases of beer for that. And he says, It'll be worth it. So we get back to my place, and he says, do you have any champagne flutes? I said, what the hell are you talking about? And he says, no, trust me, that's about as much as you're going to want out of this. And I said, okay. He said, yeah, this beer is 18% uh, alcohol. I said, 18% is this beer or is this fucking wine? And he says, well, it's, uh, it's bigger than an average imperial IPA. And I said, I, I have no idea what an IPA is. He says, well, that's an India pale ale. It, it was brewed by the British for their soldiers in India or some shit like that. Uh, <laughs> I was like, okay, I don't know what that means. He says, it's, it's really hoppy, and hops provide bitterness. And, and in this beer, they're going to sort of taste, you know, you're going to get some citrus and lemon and grapefruit and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, all right, whatever. And as he's pouring it, the, the aroma just sort of exploded out of, out of the glass. I mean, you could smell it while he was still pouring. You didn't have to put it up to your nose. You could just smell it. And so he says, you know, for this beer, they, 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 they continuously hop it for, for 120 minutes. You know, they, they, they take the hops, and when the beer comes to a boil, they just start dumping hops in. And, and two hours later, they stopped dumping hops in. And that didn't mean anything to me at the time, um, but it sounded really impressive. And he said, yeah, this beer is from Dogfish Head. It's this tiny little brewery out of Delaware. It's called 120 Minute IPA. And so I look at the beer in the, in the champagne glass and I take a sip of it. And if the aroma had been a punch in the face, the, the flavor was just like being steamrolled, right? I mean, it was... It, you know, it was more bitter than the most bitter thing you've ever had in your life and didn't even taste like bitter, right? It tasted like wine and tannins and the body was thick like molasses and honey. I'd never in my life had anything like this before. And I turned to him and I said, how the hell is this even possibly beer? And I started thinking to myself, who the hell makes stuff like this? 
how do you make stuff like this? Who drinks this stuff? And I spent the, I, I've spent the rest of my life since that day trying to answer those questions. And so this has been the story of how one person's life has changed by buying a 16-year-old Labatt's at TGI Fridays. <laughs> Thank you.